how do I set up my bungee cord system for my daggerboard? Hey guys, this is Lee here, and I'm here in beautiful Lake Garden, Italy, sailing in this 2022 Sunfish World Championship. How's that keep up there? That's my daggerboard retaining line. It's a piece of bungee cord, and I wrap it around the left side of the mast and the right side of the mast, and I loop it and I tie a square knot with a couple of half hitches. You know, I tie a lot so it doesn't give off because the bungee cord is slippery and it can loosen up. And I put it all the way in between the upper spar and the lower spar and I jam it in there. That gives me tightness on here, taut. Not too taut, not too light, because I want to be able to push it down, pull it up without a problem, and it holds it in place. What I do? I want to do it two inches, do it two inches, I'll put it halfway down, and that tautness holds it up. Now what's nice about the JC strap is if the wind gets really, really light and the sail is falling on you, you can pull it and it'll hold the boom out like that. But in this wind, the sail's not gonna fall on you. It's loose enough, I can take it out, but it's tight enough where it holds it. And then last but not least, if I do capsize, the bungee cord is wrapped around the mast and then the, the DACA board will not float away on a capsule. So I'm gonna show you how to attach the bungee cord or the elastic cord to your DACA board. Now, I have a new DACA board here, it's FRP. You could also use any DACA board, whether it be the recreational board that's wooden, like the Barrington board or the AeroSouth board over here. What they basically have is they have holes here and they have a hole here or here. Now, what you wanna do is attach the elastic cord to the leading edge. Not the leading edge, but there's the the thinner edge, which is the trailing edge, and the thicker edge, and this is the leading edge. So up here, you'll have the hole. And what we do is do what's called the luggage tag. Luggage tag is very simple. This elastic cord is about, I would say four or five millimeters, about the width of this, this pen here. It doesn't have to be exact. So you take a loop, maybe kind of in the middle, I actually prefer not to go in the middle because I like to have my square knot off to one side or another, either port side or starboard side. So maybe I'll not have it even, but that's your preference. So take the loop, you put it through the hole. Just like that, and now you have a loop and you put the two ends through the loop and this is called luggage tagging. Or luggage tag. There you go. Now you saw in the video how it actually I went around and it went around here where this notch is. The reason for that is because I actually tied my my bungee cord a little bit too loose. So if you have it too loose and it's not holding the board up, you could take some of the slack and wrap it around the back like this and it'll tighten it up. That's uh, one way to do a bungee cord. Eduardo Cordero is a world champion. He actually doesn't do my system where it goes to the tack. Uh, he goes right to the mast. So it's to each his own. Also, I made a video with Bob Finley and he has a dagger board retaining system and I'll leave a link down below. And if you want Bob to make it, uh, give him an email, shout out to him and uh, tell him that I sent you. I'm not sponsored by Bob, I'm just, Helping them out. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you like this content, please smash that like button, share the video, so we can spread the sunfish word to everyone who's interested. Thanks, and I appreciate it. So if you like that content about the bungee cord, don't forget to subscribe.